What up, guys? It's your boy, Cowboy Rick here, talking cowboy content with, with y'all guys. So let's dive right into it. So my first topic that I have to talk about today is going to be about none, none other than Dak Prescott, man. Um, so I'm just, you know, I've been seeing him in the, in, you know, Cowboys articles and stuff like that about some people possibly thinking the Cowboys could possibly extend him to help with the cap and all that stuff and so on and so forth and all that. But I was just thinking, man, you know, since, since, since the beginning we've had him, since he was drafted with, to the Cowboys, how Romo got hurt, Dak took over progressed throughout the years, had all these different weapons, Zeke, Dez, CD Lamb, and just it just I'm just thinking about it overall in general, man. Just overall in general, Dak has had had some pretty good years, man. He's had Zeke at his prime. Um Dez was not at his prime, but he was still good. And uh you know, and it just made it just had me thinking, man. How confident are y'all that Dak could actually take us to the Super Bowl, man. And the reason why I bring this up is because, you know, Dak's had some good squad, you know, throughout the certain years. And I know, you know, not every year were we good or so on and so forth, you know, and that could be due to coaching and so on and so forth. So I took on those considerations of how one year it was coaching. Uh, Mike Nolan was, you know, not that great of a defensive coach. I, I mean, I, I took it in those factors, but I'm talking about the years where we could have went. The defense was all somewhat there. The offense was clicking. Like, for example, uh, Zeke was in his prime. Dak interceptions were at an all-time low. He was doing his thing, and we still could not make it. I, I mean, it just got me thinking, like, I mean, now, by all means, don't come at me with the comments, oh, you're a Dak hater. I am, by all means, not a Dak hater. I don't hate anybody on the Cowboys. I'm just, I'm just looking at him from an overall perspective point of view i believe we had him from around like we've had him for like about seven years or so comment in the in the comment section how many years exactly it is um we've had him for about seven years man and it just gets me thinking like how much more can you actually give Dak? how many more weapons is he actually going to need how much more is our defense going to need for us for him to take us to the super bowl man i mean like last year i mean our defense, you can't, you couldn't say our defense was horrible. I mean, we held the 49ers to a, a all time low points for them being, a, you know, a high scoring offense and so on and so forth. So the defense did his job. And it was a prime example of, for me, Dak just didn't play well. And I know what you're going to say. Well, he didn't have all the weapons. I get all that, bro. What I'm saying is, though, from a quarterback's, just from a hit, from his point, I just didn't think he played that well, bro. And it, and, and it, it, for me, it's just, I just don't know how much more weapons he's going to need. And the reason why I'm bringing this up is because the draft is obviously coming up. We're all aware of that. But it's like, if the Cowboys draft, well, let's just say the Cowboys, they drafted Bijan Robinson. Boom. Uh, they, they, they drafted um, a, a offensive line. Uh, you got a top tackle or a guard, and then you paired up with uh, Gibbs or, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just, kind of, I'm just trying to give you an example. Let's just say they drafted offense heavy. Tackle, boom, you got your tackle situated. Let's just say Darnell Wright. You had uh, Tyler Smith at uh, left guard. Biotis, uh Zach Martin, and then you had Steele. Let's just say Steele was 100% healthy. Right tackle, boom, solid line. And then you had, um, I don't know, you drafted another running back in the second round. And then you drafted another wide receiver uh, like Jonathan Mingo. I'll get to him in a little bit. And, you know, you just loaded Dak up. And then you obviously throughout the, you know, as the draft went on, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh round, so on and so forth, you just added up on to our defense and uh, loaded it up for depth and so on and so forth. So our defense is fully loaded. Loaded. You added the weapons on defense. You gave Dak another, more weapons, more offensive help uh, on the line, running back, receiver. He Dak's loaded with weapons and our defense is good. For me, if Dak doesn't get it done this year coming up, I mean, I just don't know how much more you can give a man. You paid the man what we all thought he was worth. Some people may say he wasn't worth it. Some people, some people may say he was underpaid, it's whatever. However you want to say it. He was paid. So if you're paid, you should be able to produce. Get what I'm saying? So it's like, bro, it's like how much more weapons does he need? And to me, I feel like this is the make it or break it year, man. If that can't do it after seven years or however many years it's been, 
I'm just convinced he's just not going to be able to do it. You can say, oh, well, Dak's still good, though. I mean, he's good, though, bro. But you already know you're only going to get just good production from him. You're just going to get to the first round. You're just going to get to the second round. And that's all it is. And it's like, when is that? When is when are the Cowboys or when is Jerry and them going to sit back and be like, well, damn, maybe we should start coming up with a certain plan. I know he has a no trade clause, but it has to be something, man, because seven years of Dak. And man, by all means, man, I hope he goes off, man. I am by all no means a Dak hater. I like Dak. He's straight. But it's like, I mean, it's like, I just don't know how much more Cowboys are going to need. Be, you know, I, I guess what I hate seeing is the, the delusion. I hate seeing like, well, Dak is our guy. He's our number one. Jerry, bro, like, you say that, but when it comes to Sunday and it comes to the playoffs and you're cheering for your boy, oh, Dak, my number one. Okay, but what happened in the, in the 49ers game? You get what I'm saying? So that's going to wrap it up for just that one topic, guys. Um, by all means, I hope Dak can get it done. Um, hopefully, it was just that one year from last year that was horrible, man. But, you know, hopefully, man. I just want to hear from y'all guys. If y'all can tell me in the comment section what y'all think about Dak. Um and I know you're going to say, well, he's up there with the elites. I get that, bro. I mean, you could, you can you can be all you want in the stats. But when it comes to game time, clutch time, playoff time, doesn't, you know, in the playoffs, it's not going to matter about stats, bro. It's going to be a matter about just if, if you got the dub or not. If you made the throws in the crucial times, it doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? So you can say what you want about stats. You can say he's always been in the top five. I get all that, bro. But when it comes to playoff time, like I said, is can he do it? And the moments that I feel like it was right there, I didn't see it. So y'all guys let me know what y'all think about Dak, man. Let's get on to the next topic. So obviously, like I said, obviously the draft's coming up. Uh, there's been a couple, I've gone over a couple of different prospects that I like. And uh, um, I want to bring up this one prospect that I've been seeing. Um, I've been hearing his name being tossed around at, at the Cowboys facility. Uh, and I've been watching film on him and, and I'm just starting to fall in love with him. And then that's going to be like what I was mentioning earlier, Jonathan Mingo. Now, I kind of have a second to third round grade on him. Um, he's about 6'2", 220. He has a, you know, a pretty good build. Um, I, you know, watching the film, he runs, you know, he runs crisp routes. Um, he has a mental toughness. He's physical. And um, the only thing that I can see why he could even drop down to the second or third round is just due to his uh, ability to, to get separation. I mean, I feel like if he could just work on getting separated, you know, work on his separation, I feel like he could be a top, you know, receiver. I feel like he could be uh, in the first round, maybe a high early second round, if he had already worked on those things. Um, I feel like he's quick. Um, he had about a four four six. Uh, I think he ran a four four six. Um, so he has some speed. Um, and I know Cowboys are like, oh well, I, you probably guys want somebody more speedy, but you already got Cooks for that. I mean, I can, I would like the offense with C.D. Lamb, uh, Cooks. Michael Gallup, and if he's playing at his elite level, that'd be even better. And then maybe add Jonathan Mingo to the mix. Maybe have Jonathan uh, Jonathan Mingo and um, J uh, Jalen Tober kind of go at it for that that last spot, you know, for the starting role, so on and so forth. So I think that'd be fun if Cowboys can somehow get Jonathan Mingo in the second or third round. I think that'd be a good little uh, trio or the fourth receiver or however you want to say it. And... Um, yeah, so y'all guys like and comment. Let me know what y'all think about Jonathan Mingo. And if you do like him, what round would y'all want the Cowboys to take him? If y'all even want the Cowboys to take a receiver. And to wrap up for my last topic, man, is I've been I've been reading a lot of Cowboys articles. And uh, they have been throwing that name, uh, Drew Sanders, around. But, and i just been thinking, man, I just don't know how I would, how I feel about Drew Sanders, man. I just, I feel like he has athletic ability. But I just don't know. I I don't know if he'd be. I don't know if he has it for me, man. I just don't. I don't get that vibe of when I watch him. I'm just like, man, he makes a couple of plays and stuff like that. But if if Cowboys go linebacker, man, I think I'd be more comfortable with the likes of uh, Trent uh, Trent Simpson, I, I believe is his name, from uh, linebacker out of uh, Clemson. I like his name. Um, I would even like a Jack Campbell from uh, Iowa. Uh, I would. I think if the Cowboys, for some reason, went linebacker in the first round, I would hope it would be them two over him. I just, I don't know, man. I, and and I'm sure y'all know what I'm talking about. There's oh, there's always that one prospect that everyone's probably high on, but to you, you're just like, man, he just, 
he's just ain't it for me, man. He's just something about him. It, sometimes you, you don't even know. It's just something about him. You're just like, man, I just feel like he doesn't have, you know, that instinct or that, that, that uh, authority on the defense to be able to call plays. If, if, if Cowboys draft a linebacker, he has to have that command. He has to be smart. He has to be able to take control of that defense and call plays and line his players up in the optimal position to make the plays. You know, and I just don't get that vibe off of Drew Sanders, man. I, I would prefer a Jack Campbell or a Trenton Simpson. But I, I even at that, I think for linebackers, I think those could wait in the second round. I don't – there's not a linebacker that's jumping off the chart that's like first round. Like, a, there's no Parsons. And I know you're going to say Parsons is a generational talent. But what I mean, I, all I'm saying is – there's not a line to me. There's not a linebacker that's like, oh yeah, he's first round talent for sure. Grab him if you can. Parsons was, and I'm sure other linebackers that you know that are playing in the league now were. But I just none of them. I feel like they could wait as long as um, as well as tight end. I feel like tight end can wait too. But don't get me wrong. If we draft Michael Mayer, cool. I mean, uh, if you draft uh, Dalton Kincaid, cool. You know what I'm saying? That's straight. But the only position I feel like that could really truly wait is linebacker. Um, linebacker. That's pretty much it, man. Because running back, if you go B uh, John or if you go um, Gibbs, straight. That you know that that's fine. If you go tight end, that's fine too. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't be really mad. Offensive line, obviously. I already went to my last video. Offensive and defensive line, I feel like are my first round or second round. I'm taking those two positions, and then um, but linebacker for sure, man. But that's gonna be my time it for today, man. Like I said, just trying to throw out different topics. Just throwing out my content for you guys. If you haven't already, if you please see this video, if you can just like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, man. I'm still growing, still putting out more content, guys. Um, you know, and I do this for y'all. I love talking Cowboys. I can do this all day, every day, 365, and so on and so forth, guys. But let me know in the comment section what y'all guys think about my content. And let me know what y'all guys think about my topics, about the Dak situation, the Jonathan Mingo situation, and taking a linebacker in the first round. But that's been my time, guys. Appreciate y'all guys. Love y'all. See you on the next one.